I understand you've been spending a little bit of time talking about the police state, and I'm sure there's been dire warnings, and we're worried about it. And I remember writing an article for my Freedom Report, it must have been 10 years ago or so, maybe even longer, and I said, do we live in a police state? And I recall somebody writing a letter, and they said, where are you? We, are you wondering whether we live in a police state? And that was 10 years ago. So now things have changed. Everybody knows uh, we, we live in a police state. And I think that's progress, not progress that we all live in a police state, but progress that the people are waking up, they realize what's happening, and they're getting annoyed. And I think that is a, uh, a, a great uh, degree of progress that we're making. You know, all revolutions, uh, from my viewpoint throughout history, have, have, al have always been a, uh, a revolt against the police state. Uh, when governments get out of control, they over control the people. Whether you go far back as Roman times uh, in more recent history, finally the people rise up and uh, either the, um, the system exhausts itself or aggravated enough to motivate the people or the intellectuals came along and said there's a much, uh, a much better way. Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Guy Hidden back again. Thank you for clicking on the video and let's get right into it. Um, guys, I want to talk to you again about the, uh, the, the, the situation in this country regarding police brutality. Um, some recent events have happened, uh, uh, specifically uh, in Ferguson. If you, if you have not been following, that uh, whole thing is still going on. People are still protesting on the streets, still exercising their American right to be heard when they're otherwise ignored. Uh, recently, the police chief, you know, regarding everything that happened with Michael Brown, with, with, with the criminal shooting, with the murder that happened uh, in that town um, by the police officer, uh, Darren, Darren Wilson, I think his name was. He, uh, the police chief, I forgot his name, I'll put an annotation, recently made a video um, basically apologizing. He came out, he apologized. Uh, on video, um, I, I saw it, and you know, guys, I, I thought it was a really genuine video. I thought the guy really meant what he was saying. It felt like it was legitimate. It felt like, you know, this this guy wants something to be done. You know, that's what it felt like. You know, I, obviously, I don't know the guy. <clears throat> I can't speak to to the, uh, the genuine <clears throat> how genuine and how sincere he was. Either way, um, 100%. I can't, I, you know, I can't. But from what I saw and from how it felt, it seemed legit. You know, and I don't think he's some actor that's just great at it um so i, I had high hopes it, it it really put a smile on my face to see you know that this guy was sorry that this happened under his regime you know under his watch um so like i said you know that that just it it it, it melt it meant a lot to see that um so i was happy about that uh however it was a short-lived happiness because I saw something that really upset me. I saw something that really upset me, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Um, the police in Ferguson, and I think other the police departments around America, uh, have been wearing this. They've been wearing this in support of uh, Darren Wilson, which I think his name is, the guy, uh, the police officer that shot and killed, the one that murdered uh, Michael Brown. They've been wearing this bracelet, which clearly reads, I am Darren Brown. This is nothing less than a complete slap in the face of every single American, every single person in this country. This is nothing less than the police of Ferguson and, of, and every other police officer uh, that, uh, in every other precinct and uh, under any, in any other state that wears this. This is them clearly letting us know. Letting us know, all of America, that they feel nothing when it comes to murdering innocent civilians. They are calling themselves Darren Wilson, a man that has murdered, murdered a child. Why don't they just make bracelets that say, I am the Unabomber, or I am this or whatever uh, 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 murderer, every, every serial killer. This is disgusting. And this is happening under the same precinct that this guy made this video talking about how sorry he was how sorry can you be if your officers are wearing this blatant middle finger 
This is completely ridiculous. These cops don't feel any remorse. They feel nothing when it comes to when they murdering innocent Americans. Our lives are on the line. And when these people are called up to, to be held accountable, they call themselves Darren Wilson. They admit openly that they don't care. Because that's, that's what this is. There's no... It's not like this guy was in, was in self-defense, you know? And it's not even like all these officers uh, uh, know Darren Wilson. If, this, if, these, if these people... If this was just worn by close friends of Darren Wilson, if this was worn by his family members or close friends, that's one thing. But for every officer to openly wear this, how else can we receive this? Except that it's just blatantly letting us know that our lives are not important in the face of whatever they deem necessary. We have to hold these guys accountable. I mean, look at this. This is open mockery of, of, of our lives. Of what we're seeing is, is, is corruption and, and injustice. This is open mockery. They could not care less. I am Darren Wilson. It's disgusting. It's disgusting and it makes everything that the police chief said in that video completely irrelevant. How can he be sorry when his officers are wearing this? It's disgusting. And I feel no remorse if every single one of those cops gets fired. And they should be fired immediately. If you want to be Darren, Darren Wilson, you do so privately. You support him privately. You do not. The, the, the city is already in an uproar. How are people supposed to react when he sees on the officer's hands? I really hope that if the police chief is sorry, he's going to take care of this immediately. It's disgusting. And he should be as outraged as I am. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, am, am I going crazy here? Or, or is, it, I mean, I, I, I can't see how it could be anything else. But let me know what you guys think. It's your boy Godhand, and I'm out.